Irene, 16 years on, how nice was it to be here? A very, very special day. Um, I'll never forget 2006. And the girls I got to play with were really, really special. And they're all huge supporters of the girls that are playing today. Um, unfortunately, it wasn't meant to be for us. But this is a special group that, that Eamon has assembled. And they deserve everything that they, they got. And I know every girl that I played with, the likes of Geraldine Doherty, Katie O'Brien, Shauna Bennett, Grania Nolte, they'll all be huge supporters and looking on, laying Duffy, all watching this game. And just so proud that you know they were the foundations. These girls were the ones they looked up to, and they're the, they're the ones taking it a step further and creating their own history. And these girls have no, no one but themselves to be uh, just just proud of. Like it's all on them. They did it all. They do all the hard work. I get to see them training, and they, they're the last ones in Dungani, half ten at night in the pitch dark. They train so hard. Uh, elite athletes, each and every one of them, and mentally very very strong. They're brilliant. When you were looking up at the cup being lifted and listening to the speech, what was going through your mind? Uh, Shauna Ennis is a very special person, very special captain, and she always seems to know what to say at the right time. Um, and she commands a great presence, and she's a wonderful speaker. So uh, she just encapsulated what each of these girls are, and they're a special group. Really, really special. You know, when I think back to Cork ladies in 05, and they won their Ireland, they subsequently won the Division 1 in 06, and their ascendancy was, well, everyone knows what happened after that. Something similar with this group, they're very, very special. Um, and when the chips were down, didn't always play well in the league. It wasn't a pretty game out there today, plenty of mistakes. Orla Byrne came on, made a mistake, gave the ball away, and within 10 seconds she had it back. So it's not about how many times you fall down, it's about how many times you get back up. And they, they show all that today. Can't let you go without asking you about Monica. Mm. You were coaching her, obviously. She was a great goalkeeper before that, but she was so important today, especially right at the end. Yes, yeah, she made some wonderful saves. Now, Paddy Dowling has done most of the work. I just came in. There's not much coaching needed when it comes to Monica. It's just repetition, reminding her just how good she is. Um, and she does all the hard work, and she loves to train, and she loves to train hard. She keeps me going. She sets the tone, and I'm just there to serve. I'm just there to help her. And it's a real privilege to get to work with her. And I'd say she's probably the finest goalkeeper in, in ladies football has ever been. And that save on her on her left hand side, off Geraldine, like it was, that could have been that game could have gone either way that, if that wasn't made. So I'm very commanding in the air, caught some nice balls. So um, she is an outstanding, very calm influence on the team. It sounds like you've been a calming influence as well, and this is sweeter for you. Well, the first. I mean, I'm sure the girls will say the first time that they won in Crow Park was very special, and that was uh, in 2020. Um, but yeah, no, this is really, really special. A dream come true. Um, when I was in secondary school, last day of school, principal, Sister Joan Dunn, wrote in my copybook at Sea in Crow Park, and I never got there as a player. Real privilege and an honour to be here today, so I'm delighted.